So what preparations are actually being made um, right now to build the, the third temple? There are actually quite a few, and it just um, shows that God is giving the Jewish people kind of signs or an expectation that it's time for the soon coming Messiah. But um, there is a group specifically that has uh, reestablished the Levitical priesthood. They just started a school uh, a few months ago and they have a registry for those who are from the Levitical line um, that they could come and be trained and be ready to do the service in the temple. Um, they've also started a red heifer farm. Um, the Temple Institute did with an Israeli farmer and that was again with ritual purity that they need to have a, a a uh, red heifer that meets uh, Jewish law and has been supervised and doesn't have any white hairs. It's completely red heifer to be able to be burned, mixed with white er, running water, and then um, used to make everybody ritually pure to be able to go into the temple. I mean, right now, I've, Jewish people just going on the Temple Mount can create a riot sometimes. So can you envision a scenario where, where they would allow the temple to be built? Um, No. Um, a lot of the um, scholars that I've spoken to uh, talk about how the building of this next temple is really going to bring peace to Israel and to bring safety from all her, her enemies. And so in that way, I can see that um, any maybe leader that would be raised up or somebody that would be able to bring the nations together, especially those who might align with Israel, that there might be some agreement that, that, that the temple could exist there and this person could be set up in the temple. What we know is that's probably going to be a false messiah, because as we read in the book of Daniel, that there's a false messiah that's going to uh, make a peace agreement. And so that's the, the potential, is that something would be built for the false messiah to set himself up. Okay, thank you very much for joining us on Jerusalem Daylight. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.